Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company. I'm taking a look at some of the guns that are coming up for sale in their September of 2016 premiere auction. And one of them is this very interesting and unusual early prototype pistol. This is an 1895 uh, Mueller pistol made by a Swiss gunsmith by the name of Bernard Mueller. Uh, lived in Zurich. He has helpfully printed that information on the side of the pistol because there's very little other information available on this thing. Uh, it is a 7.5 millimeter pistol, which makes sense for Switzerland. Uh, the Swiss uh, revolvers around this time period were all 7.5 millimeter. Uh, the Swiss rifles at this point were 7.5 millimeter. The Swiss kind of like 7.5 millimeter for whatever reason. At any rate, um, I was expecting to find at least some reference to this in German or Austrian or Swiss pistol trials, and I have not been able to. So I don't know if it was simply not recorded in the admittedly limited uh, information I've been able to find, or perhaps this pistol wasn't submitted to those trials. I don't know. Um, it is, however, an interesting design. It's a simple blowback pistol, but it has a rotating, well, a it's the best way to put it, sort of rotating, sort of pivoting bolt. Why don't we just take a look at the inside? So here we have it from the side. You can see written there, patent B. Mueller, that's Bernard Mueller, uh, out of Zurich, Switzerland, uh, 1895. Now, the cool part is to open it up and take a look inside. You'll notice there is a screw here, and this whole side plate hinges open, kind of like a French 1873 revolver or several other designs. I'm going to take the grips off first. Then I just have to remove this screw, which is what locks the side plate in place, and then we can just open it up. There's the grip panel. And there we have the internals of the Mueller pistol. So this is a simple blowback pistol. It is single action only. You can see I can cock the hammer there. We've got a little sear catch. We've got trigger mechanism here. Pretty simple trigger mechanism. And then the bolt, when it cycles, rotates down and into the grip. So the whole bolt assembly is this curved piece, and it's all one piece. You can see it's cut out here so that the hammer axis pin can stay in position and not have to move, and that's supported by the other side plate. Our charging handle is located right here on the top of the bolt. Grab it, pull it against the rear sight. Now, this pistol is missing its front sight blade, and it is also missing a follower and magazine spring, which would have originally been in here. So, as it is, it's just kind of an empty box in the magazine, which doesn't really do anything. However, when you had this complete, when you pull the bolt back, you can see that there's a little square cutout here. That would be for a clip, probably either five or six rounds. And you would use that. You'd use the clip in place to hold the bolt open because there is no automatic bolt hold open. Uh, put the clip in there to do it, load your magazine with five or six rounds, and then pull the clip out and the bolt will automatically close and chamber the first round really not a whole lot else going on here. This curved spring right here is the bolt main spring, and then this V spring is what connects to the hammer. You can see it kind of moving there. Um, and then the, the cocking mechanism is simply that when the bolt comes back, it pushes on the hammer and forces it to recock. When I hold the bolt back here, you can see the end of the V-spring hooking onto this tail on the hammer. So that's it. Uh, mechanically, a pretty darn simple little pistol. I'm a little surprised I couldn't find any reference to this in any of the trials around at the time, but uh, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a cool chance to take a look at a, a neat pistol that there's extremely little information out there on. And it's also a great example of this fact that there really is nothing fundamentally new in firearms design. Even when you have things like the, the Chris Vector that people think of as very innovative. Well, you know what? They really are pretty heavily tied to stuff that was made 120 years ago. So 
If you'd like to add this to your own collection, maybe set it next to a Chris vector on your wall and make the vector all sad, uh, take a look at the description text below. You'll find a link there to Rock Island's catalog page on this pistol, where you can see their pictures and their description. And uh, if you're interested in the pistol, you can place a bid online or over the phone, or come right up here to Rock Island and participate in the auction live. Thanks for watching.